Here is a full list of the homicide investigations carried out by the Metropolitan Police this year. The spelling of victims' names have been taken from a police database so may differ to those released on social media. January 12 deaths, including one late on December 31 31 December, Kyle Parnell, 17, stabbed to death in Lambeth the 1st of January, Steve Frank Narvaez Arias, 20, stabbed in the chest on New Year's Day at a flat party in a council estate off Old Street in Islington, North London. After moving to the UK from Ecuador, the 20-year-old was reading physics and aerospace at Hertfordshire University and hoped to become a pilot the 3rd of January. Elizabeth Alakatis, who, 44, found bleeding to death on Norfolk Road, in Ilford, after she had her throat slashed. She worked at a restaurant in the East London town and was returning home when she was stabbed to death the 6th of January. BJ Patel, 49, Mr. Patel was beaten to death in Barnet the 8th of January. Daniel Frederick, 34, Daniel was killed meters from his home in Hackney after attending a hospital appointment for his pregnant partner the 9th of January. Damio Diangbo, 18, stabbed in Bromley the 11th of January. Harry Uzoka, 25, Harry, who was on the books of Premier Model Management and had modeled for brands including Mercedes and Zara, was stabbed in Shepherd's Bush. Neighbors reported a shout of, hand it over, in the melee which involved several men the 24th of January. Said Azim Khan, age unknown, died from a head injury in Redbridge the 28th of January. Jaya Mbye, 26 stabbed in Hackney the 29th of January, Juan Olmos Saka, 39, died six days after being found stabbed at an address in Peckham the 31st of January, Lily Mai St. George, 1, one-year-old Lily Mai was found dead in Herringy. The Met Police say her cause of death remains unknown the 31st of January, Kater Saleh, 25, the 25-year-old was stabbed in the Hammersmith and Fulham area police launched their first murder investigation of the year after Kyle Parnell, 17, left was stabbed to death in Lambeth on December 31st. Right, Steve Frank Narvaez Arias, 20, was stabbed in the chest on New Year's Day at a flat party in a council estate off Old Street in Islington, North London. After moving to the UK from Ecuador, the 20-year-old was reading physics and aerospace at Hertfordshire University and hoped to become a pilot. Harry Uzoka, 25, was on the books of Premier Model Management and had modeled for brands including Mercedes and Zara. He was stabbed in Shepherd's Bush. Neighbors reported a shout of, hand it over, in the melee which involved several men. Yava Mbye, 26, was stabbed in Hackney on January 28, left, right. Daniel Frederick, 34, was killed meters from his home in Hackney after attending a hospital appointment for his pregnant partner on January 8 on 6 January. 49-year-old Vijay Patel was beaten to death in Barnate Kater Saleh, 25, left, was stabbed in the Hammersmith and Fulham area on January 31st. Right, Damio Diangbo, 18, was stabbed in Bromley on January 9. Elizabeth Alakatis, 44, was found bleeding to death on Norfolk Road, in Ilford, after she had her throat slashed on January 3. February, 15 deaths the 3rd of February. Quabena Nelson, 22, ambushed in Tottenham in the early hours where he was fatally stabbed the 3rd of February. Hassan Oz Khan, 19, stabbed to death in Abbey Road, barking the 5th of February. Juan Olmos Saka, died in hospital after being stabbed in Peckham the 8th of February, Hannah Leonard, 55, fatally stabbed in Bray's Tower, Primrose Hill, the 11th of February. Sabri Chibani, 19, stabbed in Streatham Common, the 12th of February. Yulent Kabale, 41, the taxi driver was shot dead in a targeted hit on a roundabout in Barnet, the 13th of February. Saida Hussain, 54, found with critical injuries at an address in Ilford and pronounced dead at the scene, the 14th of February. Promise and Kenda, 17, fatally stabbed in Newham, East London, the 15th of February. Mark Smith, 48, Mr. Smith was found injured in Chingford and died shortly afterwards, the 17th of February. Lewis Blackman, 19, Lewis, who grew up on the Peckwater estate in Kennish Town, was killed in Kensington. Witnesses told how a gang of about eight youths, some armed with sticks, shouted, let's chase him down, before he was stabbed the 17th of February. Joseph Bochy, 30, Joseph was beaten up in the street in Greenwich and died in hospital the 19th of February. Pratimi Oshibanyo, 26, Pratimi was fatally stabbed inside a property in the Halliday Square housing estate the 20th of February. Sadiq Muhammad, 20, the aspiring accountant was found with serious stab wounds in Malden Road, in Belsize Park the 20th of February, Abdikaram Hassan, 17, Abdikaram died in the street after being attacked in Camden the 20th of February, name unknown, 24, shot in Westminster the 25th of February, Michael Boyle, 44, stabbed in Southwark, Mr. Boyle, from Galashiels, Scotland, died of multiple organ failure after being stabbed at a property in Southwark. 
He was found on February 25 but died on March 10. Said Khan, 49, who was found dead in London at the beginning of the month, on February 1. Youth worker Kwabena Nelson, left 22, who was stabbed to death in Tottenham and Hassan Oskin who was fatally knifed, both on February 3. Hannah Leonard, who was 55, was found dead on February 9 in a flat in Camden, North London. Italian teenager Sabri Chibani, 19, was stabbed to death in South London on February 11, just weeks after moving to the capital to find work. Murder victim Bulent Kabale, left, was shot dead in targeted hidden Barnet on February 12, while Lewis Blackman, right, 19, was stabbed to death after a party in Kensington, West London, on February 18. Promise and Kenda, pictured. Here, was stabbed to death on Valentine's Day, February 14. Ritimi Oshibanyo, 26, pictured left, was killed on February 19 after he was knifed, and Advikaram Hassan, 17, pictured right, was stabbed to death a day later on February 20. Sadiq Muhammad, 20, pictured here, was stabbed to death on February 20 in a spate of deadly crimes in the capital. Yosef Bochi, 30, was assaulted on February 23, making him the final murder victim of the month. March 19 deaths the 1st of March, Christopher Beaumont, 42, stabbed in Hammersmith and Fulham the 5th of March, Kelva Smith, 20, found stabbed in South Norwood, Croydon and pronounced dead at the scene the 5th of March, Laura Cecilia Navard de Figuera, 47, police launched a murder investigation after Laura Cecilia Navard de Figuera was found with stab wounds at her home in Twickenham. An hour earlier the body of her husband Figuera de Faria and the bodies of Claudio, 10, and Joaquin, 7, were discovered on the beach at Berlin Gap, in Eastbourne, East Sussex the 8th of March. Kelvin Adenumi, 19, shot in Herenji the 12th of March, Julian Joseph, 36, murdered in Lewisham, cause of death as yet unknown the 13th of March, Nikolai Glushkov, 68, Russian businessman was found dead in his home in New Malden. He died from compression to the neck the 14th of March, Lyndon Davis, 18, the youngest to have been killed in March, was found suffering from a single stab wound in Chadwell Heath, East London the 14th of March, Joseph Williams Torres, 20, killed as he sat in a stationary car in Essex Close, Walthamstow the 16th of March, Naomi Hersey, 36, stabbed in Hounslow, Hersey, who lived as a trans woman called Naomi, was pronounced dead at the scene after being found with knife injuries in Hounslow the 17th of March, Russell Jones, 23, ambushed outside shops near Ponders End Station, in Enfield and stabbed and shot to death the 18th of March, Tyrone Silke, 42, the father of two died from knife wounds after a St. Patrick's Day party. It is alleged the car mechanic got into a row over two girls at a party in Homerton and was attacked the 19th of March. Paul Beer Johal, 48, died after being stabbed in South Hall the 19th of March. Jermaine Johnson, 41, found with stab injuries and pronounced dead at the scene in Walthamstow the 20th of March. Benny Eman Pigny, 20, believed to have jumped into the fight in a bid to save his friend during the altercation at the Stratford Centre in East London. The 20-year-old, who only arrived in Britain two months ago from Romania, died in his best friend's arms after being chased and stabbed by a gang in the busy shopping centre the 25th of March, Abraham Badru, 26, gunned down in Hackney. The university graduate, who was murdered in Dalston, East London, was awarded the National Police Bravery Award in July 2009 the 25th of March, awaiting formal ID, 59, person found dead in Barking. Neck in Greenwich before being rushed to hospital by his friend where he died the 30th of March, Layla Mountamwe, 36, Layla was found dead with stab wounds to the neck and chest at an address in Herenji Rees T. Shoma, 23, from Barking in East London, was stabbed in the neck in Greenwich before being rushed to hospital by his friend where he died. Right, Nikolai Glushkov, 68, was found dead in his home in New Malden. He died from compression to the neck. Balbir Johal, 48, died after being stabbed in South Hall on March 19. Left, Layla Mountamwe, 36, was found dead with stab wounds to the neck and chest at an address in Herenji. Right, Kelva Smith, 20, stabbed in South Norwood, Croydon and pronounced dead at the scene. Julian Joseph, 36, was murdered in Lewisham on the 12th of March. His cause of death is as yet unknown. Right, Kelvin Adunumi, 19, was shot in Herring. He left, Jermaine Johnson, 41, was found with stab injuries and pronounced dead at the scene in Walthamstow. Right, Tyrone Silkett, 42, died from knife wounds after a St. Patrick's Day party. Lyndon Davis, left, 18, the youngest to have been named in March, was found suffering from a single stab wound in Chadwell Heath, East London on March 14. Joseph Williams Torres, right, 20, was killed the same evening as he sat in a stationary car in Essex Close, Walthamstow at Brahan Badru, 26, gunned down in Hackney.
the university graduate who was murdered in Dalston, East London, on Sunday, was awarded the National Police Bravery Award in July 2009. Hersey Hersey, left, who lived as a trans woman called Naomi, was pronounced dead at the scene after being found with knife injuries at Heathrow Palace in Hounslow. Russell Jones, 23, became the eighth person in a week to be killed in London when he was ambushed outside shops near Ponders End Station, Enfield Romanian Benjamin Peak near 20, pictured, is believed to have jumped into the fight in a bid to save his friend during the altercation at the Stratford Centre in East London April, 6 deaths April 1, Devoy Stapleton, stabbed at as he made his way home from a night out in Wandsworth. Police found him in a pool of his own blood after being called to the middle-class suburb of Earlsfield, southwest London April 2, Tanisha Melbourne, 17, Tanisha was gunned down near her home in Tottenham, North London in front of horrified friends and family. It is thought she was caught in the crossfire of a ruthless gang war April 2, Amon Shakur, 16, the teenager was shot in the face in Walthamstow, North London, and police have now confirmed he died from his injuries in hospital the 4th of April, unnamed victim, 38, police called by a homeowner to reports of a burglary in progress at an address in Lewisham. The 78-year-old resident found two males inside the address. A struggle ensued between one of the males and the homeowner. The man, aged 38, sustained a stab wound to the upper body and died in hospital three hours later the 4th of April, a victim in his 20s, killed after being stabbed in Hackney, East London the 4th of April, a man in his 50s, died following a fight outside a bookmakers in Clapton. Officers were called at 4.27 p.m. to the Bedford store after receiving reports of a man who was unconscious in the street. He was involved in an altercation with another man who left the scene. Devoy Stapleton was stabbed at 1 a.m. on Sunday as he made his way home from a night out in Wandsworth, becoming London's 12th murder victim in three weeks. Denisha was gunned down near her home in Tottenham, North London in front of horrified friends and family of Montrecourt, 16. The teenager was shot in the face in Walthamstow, North London, on April 2 and police have now confirmed he died from his injuries in hospital.